Well, I'm going to be showing you in this video how to make a shutter logo in Photoshop. But before I jump into the tutorial, let me do exactly what everyone does. I'm sure you have guessed it right. If you have come to my channel for the first time, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. And also hit the bell icon so that you can get notification of all my latest videos. If you find this video to be informative, turn the thumbs up into blue, leave a comment and share it with your friends. Now let's go to Photoshop. Make a document. 1000 pixel by 1000 pixels. Resolution 300 dpi. Now select the polygon tool. Make sure the sides are 6 here. Press the shift key and draw a shape here. Go to stroke and give it 6 point. Fill should be none. And now I'm going to put it on the center of the page. So to do that, press Ctrl A and the Align tool will appear on the top. So align the shape vertically and horizontally. Now it is on the center of the page. The next step is to draw a rectangle. So select the rectangle tool. And draw a rectangle here like this stroke and fill should be same as the other shape this too has to be put on the center of the page press ctrl T and adjust the size of the shape to the polygon Now I need only this part and this part of the rectangle. Go to the layer, right click on the layer and select rasterize layer. Now make the selection and do a little bit of adjustment if you need to do. and hit the del key from the keyboard do the same to the other part zoom in to see if the selection is ok and hit del now the first part of the logo is ready now select both these layers and merge it by pressing ctrl e Make a duplicate copy of this layer by pressing Ctrl J. Press Ctrl T to select the shape. And I am going to rotate it by 60 degree. So go up here and type 60 and press enter. And it is rotated to 60 degree. And I will make another copy of the current layer. Press Ctrl G to duplicate, Ctrl T to select the shape and rotate it by 60 degree same as before. Now the inner part of the shutter is done. Select all these three layers and merge them by pressing Ctrl E. Now I will draw a circle. So I will go and select the ellipse tool. To make a perfect circle, 
press Alt and Shift from the keyboard and drag it out by pressing the left button on the mouse. Now this too has to go on the center of the page. Press Ctrl A. Align it vertically and horizontally. Now add some color to the circle. So select the ellipse tool, go to fill, give it any color you like. And make the stroke none. Now drag the layer down to put it behind the inner shape. Right click on the layer and select rasterize layer. Next go to the first layer, press control key and click on the layer icon and the shape will be selected. Go to the second layer and now when you hit the del key from the keyboard, this selected part will be deleted from the circle. I have hit the del key from the keyboard. Now let's turn off the first layer and it's gone from the circle. The first layer is not required anymore, so delete the layer. Now the center part of the logo also needs to get deleted. Go to eraser tool and select the third erasing option and click once on the center part and it's gone. A shutter logo is ready. You can change the color using hue saturation. Press Ctrl U and hue saturation box will appear. Drag this pointer to change the color. You can also colorize each part of the logo. Take the selection tool, select each part, press Ctrl U for hue saturation and use the slider to change the color of all the parts. Thank you for watching the video and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do that now.